Hello, good morning and welcome to Newsfile. This is your most authoritative news analysis platform. And here on Newsfile, as you know, we put Ghana first. The Auditor General reveals to us rot and theft, sheer rot. He says there are cash irregularities amounting to 1.8 billion Ghana cities. Payroll irregularities amounting to 9.6 million Ghana cities. Procurement ir irregularities, 846.1. So almost a billion there. Tax irregularities, 29.2 million. Stores irregularities. 11.5 million constructs or contracts irregularities, 89.9 million. Question. So, what next? Is that the end of it? Well, the Auditor General has not issued disallowances. He has not issued surcharges like your typical Domilevo would have done on the basis of the power handed the service or the Auditor General by the Supreme Court in the Occupy Ghana versus Attorney General case. So how will these monies be recovered? Will they be recovered at all? Will anybody face prosecution for these? And why not? Meanwhile, President Akufuado praises him as having shown some example and doing some good work. The president says he's steadfast in his fight against corruption. But he's unhappy with some of the CSOs because they are involving partisan politics. And they sought to thwart his second chance at being president. He's not happy about them. We examine the evidence of the president's proclaimed commitment to the corruption fight. Now, the IAA has indicted the GMPC over how it has conducted itself in signing international contracts, not one, not two, without recourse to the necessary approval. We ask the question, but how bad is the $1.65 billion Aka Energy deal? Bright Simmons will deal with that for you. We'll be right back to deal with the vex matters.